Ah. Welcome to Electro Online, and here's another example of how to find the sides of a triangle if you know the hypotenuse and one of the angles. Of course, this is a right triangle, that means you actually know two of the angles. One of them is a 90 degree angle, and the other one is a 20 degree angle. But I set up the triangle like this intentionally to notice that x doesn't always associate itself with the cosine, and y doesn't always associate itself with the sine of the angle. So notice that to avoid making a mistake here, what you should do is label these relative to the hypotenuse and the angle. If this is the angle of concern right there, then this is the opposite side to the angle. So let's list this as the opposite side. And this side right here is adjacent to the angle. It touches the angle right here, so this can be called the adjacent side. And you realize that the definition of the sine of the angle, the sine of theta, is defined as the ratio of the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse and the cosine of theta is equal to the ratio of the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. And since we're looking for the opposite side and we're looking for the adjacent side, then we can solve this equation for the opposite side and the adjacent side. So here we can write that the opposite side is equal to the hypotenuse h times the sine of theta and in this case, we can say that the adjacent side is equal to the hypotenuse h times the cosine of theta. And now be careful here. Notice that the opposite side is x and the adjacent side is y. So we can write that in this case, the opposite side, which is x, which is equal to the opposite side, is equal to the product of the hypotenuse times the sine of theta. And here we can say that uh, the, adjacent, oh, yeah, the adjacent side uh, which is y, so y, which is equal to the adjacent side, which is equal to h, the hypotenuse, times the cosine of the angle theta. So here you can see that x is associated to the sine of theta, y is associated with the cosine of theta. So it doesn't matter that, uh, or I should say, you got to be careful that you look at the triangle and label the sides appropriately, and then define your trigonometric functions appropriately before you try to solve the problem. So now we just have to plug in the numbers. So therefore, x is equal to h, which is 10 centimeters, times the sine of the angle. And we said the angle was 20 degrees, so the sine of 20 degrees. In this case, y would be equal to the hypotenuse 10 centimeters times the cosine of 20 degrees. And now, of course, you need a calculator. So we take the sine of 20, and we multiply that times 10 and we get 3.42 centimeters. So x is equal to 3.42 centimeters, and as we do the same for y, we have 20, we take the cosine of y, or the cosine of 20 degrees, times 10, and we get 9 point, hmm, let's call it 9.40 centimeters. And that's how we find the two unknown sides. Again, I always caution you, don't just automatically think that x deals with the cosine and y deals with the sine. It all depends how the problem is set up. Label the sides, opposite side to the angle, adjacent side to the angle, so you can associate what y means and what x means. Then write the definitions of the trigonometric functions you're going to use, and then solve for the side that you're looking for, and then plug in the correct numbers. That's how you do it correctly.